What is up, guys? Okay, I know it's been a while since I've posted, but uh, we're getting it done for you guys today. I know it's been a while, but uh, I'm trying. Uh, I'm going to start ordering like a phone stand and stuff so I can get some disc golf videos and hunting videos and fishing videos and all that, guys, for y'all. So please like and subscribe so we can keep going and I can keep buying this stuff. Please come on, guys. And, uh, well, I got a little surprise for you guys today. Tomorrow we will be testing it out, but I ordered it yesterday and it came in today from Amazon. So, let's see what we got. Okay. Discraft Sewn. Now, I did have the Crystal Flex Brody Smith stone, and I really didn't care for it. It was, let me, I'll say this, overstable discs are not good for me, because I personally, when I throw, I throw overstable. You can give me an understable disc, and I can make it go overstable for me. That's the deal with me. I don't need more overstable. So, I need more stable discs that I can control, and stuff like that, like a river or something. But, I'm definitely going to try it, and I'm probably going to keep this one put in my bag. The other one, it was the Crystal Flex Brody Smith Zone. I um, traded that for two other discs, so I don't have that no more with me. It was a pretty disc, which this is a pretty disc, too. I like this looks of this disc. And it's a little bit harder plastic, but I'm going to probably keep this one for a while, while. Like a good while. Not a while, while, but a good while, you know. And keep it, because I really need a, between a wedge, you know. So this will be that disc, but tomorrow I will be testing it out. Hopefully, I plan on getting out of school, going and getting a haircut, and coming back and making it for y'all guys. So hopefully, I can do it. It's 173, no, 172 to 174 grams. So pretty good disc, and I don't know. It feels pretty good. It looks pretty good. So we're gonna be doing that, and I am still going to be setting up that PO box because. I want to get that all set up and all that, you know. My birthday's even coming up in April 11th. So, I want to get that P.O. box set up and you guys can send me in letters that you want me to read and give y'all shout outs or whatever. Uh, you know, like I said in the past videos, you know, whatever. But please hit the like and subscribe. We need to get to 50 subscribers and I will do something pretty big. Even if I go buy 20 discs, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see, but even uh, say in the comments what disc I should do next and try out next. But I need y'all to keep subscribing so I can make videos for this and I can go buy all kinds of disc and all kinds of stuff that y'all want me to do. Uh, pretty much that's all I got today. And Oh, let me tell y'all about, I tried to dye some discs. I was going to get that on video, but I never did get a chance to. Um, the alcohol, I got alcohol ink, and it didn't work out too, too good. I mean, it worked out. But hold on, I'm going to go and get them discs so I can show you guys. This one did not turn out good at all. At all. You ready? That looks horrible. I'm just kidding. I bought this one like this. I wish they would all turned out looking like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't do that one. So that one does look good though. I did my buzz. Now it's orange. So we call it wildfire buzz. Uh, this craft buzz. Uh, so it didn't turn out too, too good, but it turned out. So that's wildfire buzz now. And then we did my diamond, Latitude Diamond. Uh, it worked out pretty good. It was a single white disc and turned out pretty good. I like it actually. It looks pretty good. I like to cut the blue stripe down it and red. It was supposed to be rose red and sky blue. So I didn't want the sky blue. I wish I'd have looked at that. I wanted a darker blue. And I was hoping for a dark red, but I guess it mixed with the white. So I never do got a dark red disc like I wanted. And then, finally, I did my Malta. Let me get my number out of that. And it used to be that color right there. 
that old yellow, yellow, yellow looking. Uh, I like this disc pretty well. It's a good mid range for me. And that's how it turned out. So I really do like the looks of it. Can't lie. It looks kind of spacey and I like the looks of that pretty well, man. So that's the deal for that. And that's the disc I did. But other than that, I will be testing out that stone for you guys tomorrow. I'll be making a video on that. And I don't know, guys. I guess we'll see and I'll make a video on that. Hopefully have all this posted by tomorrow and all that and tell you if you should probably put it in your bag or not. Because that's going to be my bag. But, well, I say that. It sh it, I'm thinking it's going to be in my bag. I don't know. Because I really do need that wedge between your... Because I hate when I'm sitting there having to throw. But I like I feel uncomfortable and I'm like trying to put way less on a mid-range and then I really messed it up. And I still have a long putt or I can't get a putter there. And a mid-range is too far. Or, you know, so you need really need a approach disc, my opinion. And so, that's why I'm going to keep that one in my bag. So, I don't know. I uh, plan on making them videos for you guys. And today we went down, took my stands down. And I plan on getting some fishing videos and all that kinds of stuff. And, I don't know. And I'm fixing to be getting some more disc golf disc. Because uh, a friend I know, he used to play it a lot of time, but uh, he kind of got out of it and he ain't been playing. He's maybe played two or three times this year. So he's going to give me them and I'll do a review on them. And that'll be good. So please, I will like and subscribe. I will be getting the P.O. Box set up and all that for my birthday and whatever. So, thank you guys again. Like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all tomorrow when I post another video.